The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I posted a chart here from Alan Smith over in the UK. It's a, the ETF for the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. And as you can see, it has completed a perfect ABCD pattern. If we look at this on the futures, of course, we've seen the three drive to a top pattern, drive one, drive two, drive three. Uh, now, we were selling short on the December contract Yesterday, we posted it at 42,226. Uh, if you have that order in and you've been filled, you have a 200-point lead, put your stop at break even and see what happens. It almost took out yesterday's low, but did not, and now it's rallied a little bit. We're in the Fed time. It's going to get crazy. No question about it. But these are just patterns. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. That's all I'm saying to you. Now, the one that looks interesting to me, from the longest, with the, from the best standpoint, is this potential in gold that we're looking at. Now, we've had a high in gold of a 26.17. We're trading at 26.019 right now. I expect that to be taken out, maybe getting as high as uh, 26.35 or so with the Fed out there. And it gets very, very emotional. But uh, that's what we're looking at. So if you did that, you put your stop at break even and you see what happens. This is as perfect as ABCD pattern that you will look at, and it's over a 25-year period, boys and girls. Those of you that were with me way back here in December of 2016, we had an incredible three drive to a bottom pattern right here at 1,030, and we had a 382 retracement off of here, and then here was the real breakout to the upside, and then we had this big move uh, into when COVID happened and then down into 2022, perfect A, B, C, D coming in uh, just absolutely spot on at uh, 15.75. So, uh, and then you can see the A, B, C, D patterns are lined up in here, uh, which is nice, but you know, like we say, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's the key. So that's uh, my, uh, my number of one is uh, selling treasury bonds, number two, selling stocks, number three, selling gold. That's what I'm looking at. Might be wrong, but that's what I'm looking at, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, now let me get back here one more time here to bring this up here in the gold market, because we could see here, we could easily get to maybe 2670 or uh, 2705 with a big type of a run-up uh, in the market today, which wouldn't would surprise me at all, actually given the fact that everybody's so nervous about everything. But let's get back here and take a look at the U.S. dollar. We've had several people uh, ask about the U.S. dollar here, and we want to do that right now. So we'll bring it up because it's trying to hold. And boy, believe me, it's using, uh, it's using uh, what do you call it, WD-40 to try to hold on to a, uh, to a bottom. And boy, it is tough. Here it is right now. You can see here. We've taken out the lows of 2016. We've been down here three days now. Look at this where we're sitting, folks. This could easily go either way right here. Now, if this thing breaks down really badly, and, uh, and it's also possible, there's it, it have ramifications in a lot of different things, treasury bonds, stocks, whatever. But uh, that's what we're watching here in the treasury, uh, in the dollar index. Now, if you're looking at the dollar index, at that same time, you have to take a look at the euro. We're going to do that next. We're going to come up and take a quick look at this, and uh, you'll see there's where we are. By the way, folks, I'm going to be doing a one-day, seven-hour live trading in London, England on the 24th of October. It'll be from noon until 7 o'clock at night, London time, which is all day uh, during the day over here. And uh, I'll send more information out, that, uh, out on that a little bit, but it'll be seven hours and uh, we'll be uh, we'll also I, I believe we're going to be coordinated with our folks with the live trading day that we usually have 
uh, at the same time, instead of being just three hours, it'll be a total of seven hours. It's my goodbye farewell tour, folks. That'll be my last trading thing over uh, in the UK. And uh, anyway, got a lot of friends there who want to see them. Anyway, here's the euro dollar on a daily basis. Now, we're going to go down now. We're going to go down to a smaller time frame. And you can see here we've been in a really tight trading range at a very high level. No question about it. You can see here uh, there was our low on the 15th, and we had a nice little ABCD pattern coming in today right at this level right here. It's all related to what the Fed's going to do, folks. And the Fed, believe me now, Fed, the, the folks, the Fed have has a huge advantage. <laughs> they know what they're going to do ahead of time, and they have many, many traders at all of the 12 Fed banks that, that – they act on this stuff. The Fed is a private bank for private traders, folks. They don't have to report what they do. Well, the things they do report, nobody even knows what they mean. But anyway, that's my two cents worth. Anyway, this is what we're looking at right here. So I think there's a chance it could go either way. Ooh, ooh, that's really a great thought, Larry. It might do that, but you don't know. All right? So uh, it, it's going to be active. That's the only thing I can probably tell you. You'll see stops on both sides probably be taken out you know, without uh, without any trouble at all, would be my guess. All right, now let's take a look at the next one. We're, since we're going to be looking at London, here is the British pound. And we went right back up to that magical level that we thought that we could. We did that this morning. You can see we got right up there again. Here we up at one, two, three, four, five days. Let's look at this on the smaller time frame. And you can see there's where our low was the other day. Here we are on the 7th. This is the uh, the 18th. Our low from this high, where did it go to, folks? Does anybody want to guess what that number is? Johnny, you want to take a guess, buddy? Oh, well, let's say, yeah, that's it, 382. And what are we doing so far today? We went from the low up to the high. Ah, oh, we've come so far, we've come down to the 618. So it's going to be active. That's about all I can tell you. So I'm seeing things that uh, – Probably shouldn't be saying, but that's it. All right, now let's take a look at the last of the big currencies, which is the uh, dollar yen. And we should have a little bit of a rally going in here if we were correct in looking at it. Uh oh, just a minute here. All right, let's get the uh, let's do the smaller time frame and see what's happening here. Yep, we are having a little bit of a rally here in this dollar yen. Let's see what we've done so far here. Uh, we went through this all before. Uh, here's here's where today's action, folks. You see, we were higher earlier, uh, then backed off. Uh, what we should do now is go to the hourly chart so we can see this super clearly because there's the number we were looking at yesterday. There's our rally back so far today. We should double-check that because since we made another low here, we should check to see uh, what the uh, – let's get this out of the way – what the next uh, 382 might be back in here if we can find one because, well, it's down so far, we can't really find a 382. The only way we can do that is to go down to a four hour chart. Ah, there is a four hour chart. Now we can see the 382 would be looking for would be, wow, really close today, folks. Holy cow, that's pretty close. 4250. So look out, this might be exciting. No matter what, it will be interesting. We're going to take a break now. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. 
When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're watching a market here known as the wheat market. Uh, those of you that follow us, we do follow wheat quite a bit. We had a nice run in this uh, to the upside. And you can see here, this is uh, today's actions. You can see there's today's high. Now, all you want to do now is to go back and see if the last high that we made from right back here came in exactly at the 382. And as you can see, it did do that. There it is right there. Okay, and that was at 82, now it's down about 8 cents. But here's the important part. Now we're looking at about 10 days through here, as you can see from this low to this high, all right? Now, we are looking at an absolute beautiful A, B, C, D pattern here. There's drive one, drive two, drive three. I'm gonna draw it in just to make it real easy for everybody. You can do these by hand, which is actually the best way to do it, but it's faster this way. Okay, now you can see here, these ratios are very close. A little bit lower, you're gonna be right here. So uh, you wouldn't think that wheat would be affected by the Federal Reserve. Well, folks, everything's affected by the Federal Reserve. So this is an absolute, a perfect setup. You have an ABCD pattern completing right here. Okay, it's at exact 382 of the actual bottom, way back here when we were really bullish wheat, if you remember. There was a 382 pullback that we were bullish on. We had another 382 uh, pullback here that we were bullish on, and here we are again right here, and that is the 382 pattern off of this level right up here. Folks, I'm, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm actually embarrassed to tell you this because I've been looking at stocks and, well, not stocks, I'm looking at commodities since, uh, well, actually, I, my first trade was 59, but that didn't count. Actually, 63, 64, when I was uh, out of college and uh, began working for Eli Lilly and started learning a little bit, I started dabbling in sulfur and cattle and stuff like that. We didn't have gold and treasury bonds until the 70s, so... I did a lot of a lot of wheat and a lot of corn trades. Pork bellies was one of my favorites, but I did do a lot of studying with the markets. But this 382 thing, I've only had this about five, six years. Uh, wait, it's actually five years because I got it in September of 2019 in London. We were doing a live trading seminar there with uh, Tom Hugard, and uh, I watched it, and I, I started showing it, and I, Tom was doing the trades, and he wasn't even aware what the 382 was doing. He just had a sixth sense of where that it was. By the way, on the news front, Steve Cohen, one of the best traders ever, uh, 
is uh, retired. He retired as of yesterday. He said he just is done. He's done trading. Anybody that believes that. Uh, believes that Santa Claus is going to come on uh, Christmas Eve. <laughs> he he's going to take a break. He's coming back. People that do this for uh, for a living, you can't because it's it's the it's the world's greatest chess game. Let's get back to where we are here. Well, here's where we are. Let's see. Look, all the things we have going for this trade. And we're going to look at the caveats too because there are certain things that are not going to work. Okay, this is the number we want to be buying it right here at 569. I'm going to put this in here right now. So you'll be able to see it. 569. We're going to buy it. Okay. And then we're going to be really careful and we're going to put a stop at 559. You're becoming a farmer for $500. You don't have to buy the land. You don't have to hire anybody. No tractors, no seed, nothing. You're going to buy some wheat here. You're going to buy 5,000 bushels of beautiful uh, winter wheat, uh, December wheat. And so we're going to buy it there with a stop at 559. Now that the, the caveat, the caveats, of why that it might not work, and I'll show you. But there's another number that I just saw that I just put it right in here, and that is right here. The 1.27 on this is right there. So that's why your stop has got to be below there. You could get down to that 1.27, and there's one other one too. This could be a big A, B, C, D pattern right here. That's why our stop is going to be right below that. So we can get there and still not get stopped out. But the thing is, I really think we got a chance to get it at right here. All right. Now, someone's asked to take a look at Apple, which I will quickly. And then someone's asked about soybeans, which I'll also do. Let's get this up here and take a quick look at it. And um, OK, here's Apple. Let's just do the hourly. I don't know if it's up or down on the day. Oh, it's up today. That's good. That means that, and let's see where we are. Well, we've got a high back here. Uh-oh, I can see where we are with that. You can see it from right there. There's your 382 right there right now. There's the 382 and Apple right here at uh, right where we're trading at 221. So, and it's up quite a bit. It's up $5. Well, that's why the, the Dow must have been uh, so strong here uh, earlier. Okay, that's that. And then we want to look at the uh, soybean market here quickly. And uh, hold on one second. Uh, uh, soybeans, that's S. Yeah, hold on just a second. And here are the beans right here. They had a little rally early in the morning, and then they gave it back up. Let's just see what we have here. <clears throat> okay, here's the soybeans over the – we'll just draw this over. They've been in a pretty big downtrend, as you can see. <clears throat> but we did have a uh, – we completed another ABCD pattern here this morning uh, without – well, let's just draw it in so you folks can see it. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg comes in right there. Uh, well, it misses it by uh, one cent. Now it's backed off a little bit, but uh, still, uh, it's been in a high. It's been in a consolidation level at a pretty good level, and I don't think if it break, starts to break down, I think the beans will find some really good support on this pattern right here, which is this uh, larger uh, ABCD pattern that we have. Coming in right about here. I think it would have really good support down here, about 20 cents. Oh, that's not even 20 cents. That's only, yeah, it is 20 cents. Okay, now here's a nice one. You can see that this was back here on uh, September 6th. We had that beautiful three drive pattern. And, oh, excuse me, that's a butterfly. Oh, that's a bad one. Let me show you, let me get rid of this so we can clear it up because the difference between, see, if it had made a higher high here, it would have been a three drive to a top pattern, but a lower high means that that is a butterfly, and that's the difference between the two. So remember, for three drives, you have three higher highs. With a butterfly, you have lower highs and an ABC culmination, usually exactly at the 1.618 level. And I have one other news announcement is there's only 35 more minutes till the big boys in Washington decide what they're going to do. My guess is they're going to drop the rates by a quarter percent or a half a percent, but I don't think it will mean very much except on a very short-term basis. But that, again, is my opinion and my opinion only, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, now someone's asked about the corn, which is also getting up against a really strong resistance area. Here's December corn. We got up there, by golly, it looks like we made it already. Let's see what, where we are here. Okay, here's a, let's just go to the daily so we can see it a lot easier. 
And there's our number we were looking at right up here. And here's the time frame, folks. See the number of days up? We drove this in just a few days ago. Look for the high to come in sometime today. And there it was. Uh, possibly we're only down three cents from that level, but uh, we didn't get this pattern to come in. It didn't uh, get that out of get that out of the way because it didn't it didn't go lower. It it did go lower, but you have to see this in order to see that. That's why that's why I took that off. In other words, if I try to dry it, drive it, draw it, it won't connect because of this so close between the low and the high. But there was it. There's where we are right now. But the high should be coming in right now. Okay, let's take a little break. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching tra trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks. Uh, someone's asked me if a technical analysis will describe just about anything. And if it's buyers and sellers and it's a liquid market and there's a lot of people in it, it's an unqualified yes. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention, we had a gentleman from South Africa 
uh, contact me yesterday and ask about the cocoa market. And uh, I said I'd happy to take a look at it. I haven't traded it in 50 years. I don't plan on doing it, but I will bring it up. You can see this is the daily. I want you to see here that we had a three drive to a top pattern. There's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three. The projected high was 11,658. Folks, that's $10,000 a contract, $11,000 a contract. I mean, this is a huge move. Just to show you what a huge move it is. You can see this ABCD, how the market goes here. See how it backs off just a little bit? Let's just double check to see if that was a, a 3A2 on the daily, just for kicks and giggles. Look at that, folks. There's the exact 3A2 of that move right there. But here's what I want to bring to your attention. This is what we could be looking at. Here, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the uh, weekly chart now here in Coco, just to show you that this was what we call a breakout. This was the old high in Coco, folks. Look at this. At 36, and we went to 11,960. I mean, this is when these things take off. Well, yeah, this could, maybe this is what's going to happen to Treasury bonds. I don't know. But when you see something like this, you know, it's on its way, but, you know, it does follow the patterns. Uh, you know, when you're when you're looking at them, that's really it. You can see if just watch just for simple ratios. I've got to answer a couple of questions here. There's a there's your 61 percent. It goes a little above it in between the two. And then you can see the rest of it. You have a nice ABCD pattern here, probably setting at a really nice ratio off of this low right here. Let's just double check. That's from your low up to your high. <laughs> Right at just there's your 6.8 right in here, folks, and that's why it looks like we're making pretty good bottom here in cocoa for the time being. So you might want to if you trade cocoa, which I don't. The only reason I don't, folks, is I got a terrible fill back in uh, 1973. I was trading cocoa and it was limit up, and I put an order in to sell it, and I thought I was going to get filled limit up, and I got filled limit down. And this was when the squawk box with uh, Conti commodity was going. And uh, I, I had nice profits in it, but, you know, I, it was like a $4,000 swing. And I thought I was being cheated. And I was, you know, screaming at the, the squawk box, even though it couldn't uh, it couldn't uh, hear me. And uh, the guy said, do you want to trade? Do you want to trade? And my broker came running out. And yes, yes, we'll take the trade. The reason why Coco had gone from limit up to limit down and didn't trade for four days. And so since that time, I didn't trade coffee, cocoa, or orange juice. I never traded orange juice uh, ever. Anyway, that's it. Anyway, that, that's part of uh, what we're going on. Now, the question someone's asked, what are the best books for those of you that are out there starting this business and stuff? The number one book. I believe if you're interested in trading and want to learn from somebody who was really smart, and that was Jesse Livermore's the book Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Jesse Livermore. It, you can get him a paperback for probably 12 bucks. I have read that book 50 times. Uh, back in the old days, that was one of the only few, few books we had around. The next book I, I would look at is look at the, any of the books by uh, John Murphy uh, on technical analysis. They're all very good. Uh, the book by Andrew Lowe. The non-random walk down Wall Street. If you're into mathematics and physics and real heavy numbers, I recommend that. But I, I, I frankly, it's so far over my pay grade. I, I'm almost embarrassed to say. But his second book, which was the evolution of technical analysis, was a great book because in the first 50 pages, he talked about the very first technicians, which were the Sumerians and the Babylonians. And what were they using? They were using the mercury and the moon to plant their crops and buy and sell wheat and corn. It has examples right in there coming right off the clay tablets. And then uh, as you get into the number one book to read is Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas and also his Discipline Plater book. That's the mental part of this business because once you get the mental part right, the rest of it is just flat out real easy. But you've got to get that part in. You know, I was fortunate enough, Mark wrote that book here in my office during the six years he lived here in Tucson from uh, 96 until uh, 2002, where he moved up to uh, Scottsdale. They lived there until he passed away uh, six years ago. Anyway, uh, the main thing is that you've got to get that mental part uh, you know, lined up pretty good, and that, that's what you really have to do. And it's not an easy thing because trading is involved with money, and when you keep score with money, people always say, uh-oh, what's going to happen here? What's going to happen there? And then you get into uh, get into things that you really cannot handle. But those are the main ones. There's a lot of other books. The books by Bryce Gilmore were very good. 
uh, the books by uh, uh, William Garrett, uh, training, uh, Thrust Analysis was very good. The Cycle book with, uh, uh, oh my gosh, come on, Jim Hurst. Jim was my customer at Drexel. He only gave me one trade in all the years. He just didn't like trading. He was an engineer. And that's what he was paying attention to here. So we're getting a pretty good rally here in the stock market here coming into Fed time with another 24 to go. So looks like uh, going to be stopped out of the, the uh, long trade that we're, excuse me, the short trade we had in the, uh, in the Dow Jones. But that's what it's going to be. And nothing else you can do about that. And uh, we'll, we'll see what's going on. Let's check and see. Well, the bonds are doing virtually nothing. Neither is that. So this is just nervous time probably, but we'll we'll move that on. Let's get this out of the way here. And we have a question. Uh, let me get the start of Tesla up here. I have evidently two of our listeners here at TFNN are big Apple and Tesla uh, folks. So let's get Tesla up here. And uh, you'll see here there's Tesla. And it should be up today too. Eh, it's up virtually nothing. It's doing little. Very little. See, we still think Tesla's got a chance to get up to this level. What we've taken out the previous day's high has really done very little in here. It's very, very quiet. So, uh, oh, I missed I missed a swing in here that could be very, very important. That's this one right here uh, in Tesla, and you'll see there's uh, there's where we are up here around 243. So that's what we're paying attention to. Okay, now let's move on over here. And do one thing for one of our listeners about TBT. And T, I'll do TLT because that's the one that's easiest to see. This is when you want to be long bonds, okay? Okay, now here is the bond market uh, based on the TLT, which is the ETF. That's basically, it's a 20-year, but bonds, notes, folks, bills are uh, not, uh, one year or less. Uh, one year to five years are notes. Uh, no, one year to 20 years are notes and 20 years to 30 years and on are bonds. So that's that. You notice we've taken out the high here. But again, you'll see here the ETF for this. All right. Now, remember, the ETF for this is the, is the um, Treasury note. It's made the ABCD here, folks. It's made it all the way up here. Look how far this is lagging. That's why I don't like these darn things. Okay, so let's move this on. We'll be right back, and I want to do some little tiny, tiny bit more work in gold. So stay with us. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I, what I've done here is I've posted, uh, you'll see this blue line right here is basically the invert, well, it's the price of the treasury, the 10-year treasury note that's trading up here at that uh, 105, 115 level, remember? Now you can see here, we've just barely taken out the high on this one here, but look, this has completed the pattern, see? The fact is we, we don't even, I think, let's just, let's just clean some of this out here without too much trouble, and we'll just look at it right there. Okay, now we're gonna look at the big ABCD here for the uh, Treasury note. Hold on just a second here, there's your ABCD, and there's where we are, there's where we are right now. So let me show you. See, now this is completing. Don't, don't forget about this price here because it should be 105.15. But anyway, th you can see the difference here. You see how far this is lagging? This barely takes this one out. Okay, and look what happens here. So this is telling us, get rid of this map thing. Hold on a second. This, uh, that pops up occasionally. I don't know what that is. All right, but then you can see what I'm saying. This has already been put in. Now you can see the gap down today. Whether that means anything or not, I don't know. But if you looked at this real closely, just using the ETF, first we're going to get the refresh uh, for uh, default, refresh default. Okay, now we're going to blow this up a little bit right now, and then I'm going to take out everything, delete it all, and we're going to look at this ETF for today or yesterday is what we're watching. So there is a butterfly pattern, folks. It's perfect. There's your first drive, you're down, boom, bang, bing. Let's just draw it in so you can see it. There's your first one. There's your lower high. If this was if this were like this, it would be a three drive, okay? But it's not, so we click that on. Uh oh <laughs> just draw it in now to make it see here. And there's your number right here. And there you go. And there it was right there, just right on the money. And it gapped down today. Now, why would it gap down on a Fed day when the Fed knows what's going to happen ahead of time? I don't know, boys and girls. All I know is it's going to be active. And we're going to know in about 16 minutes who the winner of this lottery ticket is going to be. That's for sure. Now, let's switch over with just a chip ticket here with the crude oil, okay? Because we've had a tremendous run here. Let's just go on the daily to start out with because we've had a bottom come in here. Okay, we, we saw this bottom coming in at the beginning of the week. Okay, last week. See right there on the 10th. Here we are on the 18th. We've had a really good rally in here. There's your A. Let's just draw it in so you non-believers will see what ABCDs are. There's your ABCD, 6587, uh, 66.80 went a dollar lower. And then there was your pullback. Here was your key today right there. There's your key. Let's just get to the hourly, and you're going to see it right here. Move this up. Okay, because there's your pullback right here. I was getting ready to see that. Hold on here. Let's see if we made. We went a little below the 382, as I recalled. We went to the, we went to the 50% level, and now this is what we've done here. So this will also be affected Fed time too. Longer term, this is still it's still in a bearish mode because this is nothing more than a little five-day rally 
Uh, it's gone above the 382. It's trading quite a bit below it now. 70 was the uh, the 382. The high was uh, uh, 70, 75. So it was you know 70 cents. That's why you've got to risk a dollar a barrel when you're trading crude oil. Okay. So that's it. We start getting above here, then you know it's, it's got legs. But right now. This is just a, a, a small rally in a bear market. That's all it is. As a matter of fact, if you looked at the previous rally, you see the previous rally was that much. So you check at this to see what this one did. It uh, didn't even, wasn't even as good as this last four-day rally. So that's telling you that it's not that bullish right now. So let's, uh, let's remind ourselves of that. Okay, now since we're looking at that and we don't have Mike Moore as our guest today, we're going to look at uh, heating oil, which, oh, excuse me, gasoline, our Bob, because – that many times will be getting a level that you'll be able to see very, very clearly and whether it's more bullish or not. And here again, you're not seeing that. So let's just bring this up here. Here it is right now. What we've got to do now is we have to update this, refresh this, uh, and then we'll see where we are. Okay, now I thought it might hold the 382, but it did not. But here's what we were looking for. The last rally in our Bob went that far. Okay, now look what this one did. You see how it went to the exact number? Let's just draw it in. Uh, let's just clean this out so we can see it together. All right. The last rally that we had from this level right here, you'll see. There's your first level right here. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg coming down to there. So if this is good, it's going to match that rally. So you come over and look at that and look what it did, folks. It didn't quite match it, did it? So it's telling you that it's still a little bit weak. But you also want to check to see off the last major highs, which was right here, to see if a 382 came in. There it was right there. So we're at a level where it could easily start to move higher. We've been up eight days, but we're at a real critical level right now because we're sitting there right now. Maybe it's a, maybe it's going to be the uh, uh, Fed that's going to make this move. I don't know, but that's it. I did miss something in that is this right here. From this high, now, uh, shucks, hold on just a minute. From this high, you have a five-day rally stopped right at the 382. There was your price objective here. It misses it by about two cents. That's also a pos possible uh, positive, too. So it still looks much better than crude oil for sure, but we'll have to wait and see. Looking at this on a smaller time frame, you'll probably see some clear 382s here over the last few days, and that's really what you're looking at. There's your... Here's your first one uh, right there. Then you have another one. Looks like it came in right behind it, uh, right there. And then you had a higher high, so you've got to recalculate the whole thing and see if that was a 382 off of the last run. And you can see it didn't do that. So we're still in an area, but you see it's in an area where it could go either way from this level right here. Now we're up five, six days. My bias has to be to the downside because after a five, six day rally, the odds of it going up are uh, probably only 25%, whereas a 75% chance of having at least a two or three day uh, correction. That work was done by Larry Williams uh, many years ago. By the way, Larry Williams also retired this week. He and Stevie Cohen both are retiring. And uh, I, the only way they're going to find me retired is in front of this desk. Anyway, uh, anyway, that's what we're watching here uh, this morning as we look at this. We'll get this out. We should check heating oil because we've got a, a little time to do this and we'll bring it up right here. Here's the heating oil and oh, heating oil is not doing good. This is not much of a bounce at all. Let's refresh this. Uh, yeah. See, oh, this is really, really a dead cat bounce and uh, nothing, nothing against cats, but okay. There's a, our last high that we had back here. The major high was this one. So your 382. Uh, oh, I see what's happened here. It didn't make the it made the three. It made the 382 off of this one. Why that happens, I don't know. But you got to do them both because they're both significant. But you see, it makes it perfectly here, and we hit it two days in a row. Did we take out the previous day's high? Uh, 25.15. Well, we took the previous day's high out by half a cent. And it didn't go anywhere. So this is a, oh, it's almost an ABCD too. This is a, this is not looking good for the energy complex, folks. So let's pay attention. We're going to take a break here. Ten more minutes, folks. And the Bible will be open. 1700 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C., Federal Reserve.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, we've been waiting for September the 18th. There's where we are. Here's where we were in 2007. Market made a new high. And then that's when the rate cut happened, and you can see what happened. And then here, same things happened so far this year. Whether it'll happen again or not, I don't know. All I know is now you're in a risk-free environment. Just put your stop at break even and wait and see how it goes. A couple reasons that make me think that it's going to be some about a surprise, the fact that the notes are acting so poorly, and so is the ETF for the notes, the TLT. But again, that's my opinion. So we'll have to pay close attention to it. All I can tell you is these patterns that I've seen over the past week are very large patterns and they should last uh, for several weeks, uh, I would think. So I don't know if that's going to be the case or not, but I'll tell you what, in five minutes, the chief will be out there talking and we're going to see volatility that knocks everybody's socks right off the box. My guess, my guess. Anyway, that's what we're watching here today. So uh, tomorrow we'll be uh, back in business. Uh, talking about what happened today, and we're going to see what's going on. Tomorrow's a very special Astro Day, folks. Tom Hugard's birthday. The, the, the Raging Cowboy is going to be 54 years old, believe it or not. Anyway, I, got, I, got, I can't believe I've known him that long. Whew. Okay, here's what we're watching here. Just a few minutes to go. How much time do we have? Uh, well, we've got a whole minute to go, so I don't know what else to say, folks, other than to... Uh, just get ready because you're going to see some rocking and rolling, and it should last for a while because these are large patterns on the longer-term price thing that I look at. But 
by by I'm telling you now this in four minutes, it could all be over and my whole analysis could be wrong. That's why you don't know, and you know don't get don't get wrapped up into it because it doesn't really mean very much actually. So I certainly hope that helps. But now I think we've got uh, how much time we got? Still got 34 seconds. I don't want to put Al out on the limb here, but uh, that's it. We're all done. May the force be with you, and may all your trades work out no matter what side they're on. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Thank you.